Now, the Fox Illinois Sports Desk, sponsored by Route 66 Solar. Baseball, soccer, softball, and a little bit of University of Illinois in our Pac-10 PM Sports, kicking things off a little Cyclone soccer. Over on the piss, pitch, SHG hosting Pleasant Plains, we had ourselves an early stalemate, nil-nil in the early going, but a late first half goal from the Cyclones and a GG Gray clean sheet from the goal from in goal powered SHG to a 3-0 win over Pleasant Plains. The Cyclones remain undefeated on the season. They'll face Glenwood next week on Tuesday. And then on the diamond, the Cyclones of SHG hosted Champaign Central for some Wednesday baseball, and this one was a battle in the early going as well. 3-3 into the bottom of the third. Then SHG took over a six spot in that inning, powered by an extra base hit from Jay Kepler. Patient work at the plate and a few pass balls and a ball out of play that advanced two runners across the plate. The Cyclones victorious in this one, 17-3. Well, it's finally that time of the year. March Madness and the Illini, they snagged themselves a three seed in the East Region playing in Omaha. We'll go to Bill Steckis for an update on the Illini. Bill? Yeah, the Big Ten Tournament champs are in the heartland looking for five straight wins. They took the court at the CHI Health Center this afternoon to get a feel for the floor here and the surroundings. Head coach Brad Underwood looking for his fifth career NCAA Tournament win, third at Illinois, but the guys say that's not the focus. They say it's all about just getting after it against Moorhead State tomorrow. Uh, well, we know every game is going to be a tough one, you know, um, and, and we're just going to have to play our hardest and play our best. Um, but, you know, we're excited for this opportunity, and, you know, regardless of what people say and, you know, what the naysayers like to say about this program and this team, you know, we're excited to go this year. We, we have a great opportunity. We feel like, you know, we, we can do a great job this year and go far. At this point in the time of the uh, year, it's about just who going to be the hardest playing team and who going who gonna to get to the loose ball first or who going to get the rebound to win the game or just, just playing hard. We prepare this team the best we can to try to win a game when the ball doesn't go in, and it doesn't. And and it's got to be with effort. It's got to be with hustle. It's got to be with toughness, um, being nasty, being gritty. So the intensity is there. Illinois is five and zero on a neutral court this year, and of course, this is a neutral court here in Omaha. But a fun fact: they've played Moorhead State one other time and beat them. It was back in 1993, five presidents ago. Two of those presidents were two terms, so they're looking to go unbeaten against Moorhead State in history and 6-0 on a neutral court. Game time tomorrow at 2 o'clock, but for now, with the Illini basketball team, Bill Steckis, WICS Sports. Now, Parkland softball is also off to a stellar start this season, 25-3 to begin the year. Last season, the group won the D2 Central District Championship and made a deep run into the NJCAA Softball World Series all 28 of the Cobras games so far, though, have been on the road and against difficult opponents at that, but the group is using those early season roadblocks to grow as a team. Whenever we travel so much, you're in a hotel or just in like the same room as some of the same people so much, and it could be easy to just, you know, get, get, have people get on your nerves a little bit, and that's honestly, I think, what helps is at the beginning of the year, being with each other so much helps us. After 28 games on the road, they will make one more road trip on Saturday before returning home for the first time this season on Sunday against Spoon River. The Cobras are relieved to be back on their home field, and with a successful start this season, they're hoping to finish with a deep postseason run. Our goal is to win the national championship this year. We came up just a little short last year, um, and the team that the team that won it all, we played already this this spring and beat them. Um, so that's our goal. Whatever we do. It'll be successful, but I just know this team can win nationals. But even if we don't, like, I just know we're going to give it our best shot. Now make sure to stick with us throughout the week and for the rest of March Madness for your coverage on the University of Illinois and their quest for a national championship. That'll do it for sports. I'm Sammy St. Jean.